In this foundational lecture, we'll establish the clinic management system database, beginning with an organized setup in Visual Studio 2022. This initial session focuses on laying the groundwork for a scalable, maintainable database with models that represent key clinic operations. We will also create the essential DB context and learn how to structure our database using Entity Framework Core's code-first approach. This setup will enable smooth integration for patient records, appointments, inventory management, and user roles in the sessions to come. Imagine managing a complete clinic system that seamlessly handles patient information, doctor schedules, medication stocks, and even secure user access, all from a centralized database. In today's session, we are building the foundation of this system, one that is organized, professional, and prepared to grow as we add features. With this robust start, you'll be well on your way to creating an efficient and scalable clinic management system. Learning objectives. Remember the role of the core tables and relationships within a clinic management system. Understand how to set up a structured DB context and configuration files for a large application. Apply code first principles in Entity Framework Core to create models and relationships. Analyze the benefits of a consolidated configuration structure for scalability. Evaluate the effectiveness of a professional database structure and how it impacts maintainability. Create a deep context and essential configuration classes that will drive our database setup in later lectures. Lecture outline and part one, setting up the project. In this part, we'll cover the basics and initial setup. One, setting up the project in Visual Studio 2022. Two, installing Entity Framework core packages. Three, creating core models, patients, doctors, appointments. Four, setting up a consolidated DB context for managing all tables. Five, using migrations to create tables in the database. Step one, setting up the project in Visual Studio. One, open Visual Studio. Two, create a new ASP.NET Core web application and choose ASP.NET Core 8.0 or higher. Three, name the project clinic management system. Step two, installing Entity Framework Core packages. Open the NuGet Package Manager and install the following. Microsoft.Entity Framework Core. Why? To allow interaction with databases. Microsoft.Entity Framework Core. Dot SQL Server. Why? To add support for SQL Server. Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.Tools. Why? To enable migrations. These packages provide all the tools necessary to connect to SQL Server and use migrations to manage the database structure. Step 3. Creating core models. Let's start uh, with the models that form the backbone of our clinic system. Here, we want to organize the work and put the files related to each other in one place. This organization is good in the case of maintenance. Let's have a classes library here and call it models. Now let's right click on solution of project and choose new project ants. Search to class library and choose it and name it models. In this place, we will make all the classes as models. Now, let's create model called patient.
and another model called Dr. Then we will create another model called appointment. Model patient. It will consist of properties. Patient ID, first name, last name, date of birth, gender, contact number, and address. This class represents a patient's essential information. The purpose. Stores patient data, including basic information and medical history. Public class patient. Public in patient ID. Get set. Public string first name. Get set. Public string last name. Get set. Public date time. Date of birth. Get set. Public string gender. Get set. Public string contact number. Get set. Public string address. Get set. Model doctor. It will consist of properties. Doctor ID, first name, last name, specialization, and contact number. The purpose represents doctors and their specializations. Public class doctor. Public int doctor ID. Get set. Public string first name. Get set. Public string last name. Get set. Public string specialization. Get set. Public string contact number. Get set. Model appointment. It will consist of properties, appointment ID, patient ID, doctor ID, appointment date, and status. The purpose. Tracks appointments between patients and doctors. Public class appointment. Public int appointment ID. Get set. Public in patient ID. Get set. Public int doctor ID. Get set. Public date time appointment date. Get set. Public string status. Get set. Very good. What next? We want these models to interact with the database. There is a very important file, which is the DB context file. We will compile all the models into a very important file called DB context. The DB context file is a central part of the entity framework core setup in an application. It serves as the primary bridge between the application's code and the database, allowing you to interact with the database using strongly typed models instead of raw SQL. Here 
is a brief overview of its main purposes. One, database connection. DB Context manages the connection to the database, enabling the application to retrieve, save, update, and delete data. Two, mapping models to database tables. It maps the application's entity classes, models, to database tables, defining how data is stored and organized. Three, tracking data changes. DB Context keeps track of changes made to entities during a session. So when you save changes, it knows what needs to be updated in the database. Four, managing queries and commands. It provides a set of methods for querying data, DB set collections like patients, doctors, and executing commands, making it easy to retrieve or manipulate data using link. Five, applying configuration and constraints. DB Context uses configuration classes like Clinic Context Configuration to define relationships, constraints, and rules for each table and field, ensuring the database structure matches the requirements of the application. In summary, Deep Context is essential for abstracting and simplifying database operations, enabling the application to interact with the database in an organized and efficient way. After we mentioned the benefit of this important file, let us now continue. Step four, setting up Deep Context. What is the benefit of our project simply? We'll set up the clinic context, which serves as the gateway to the database for all operations. This DB context will include the core tables and will be expanded as we move through the lectures. To organize our file, we'll create a class library called Data Access. Click on Solutin of Project and choose Add and new project and search to classes library. Call it the data access. And inside we'll add a context folder and create a class named clinic data context that inherits from DB context. This clinic data context will manage our database connections and entity mappings. Public class clinic context, DB context, and we will make constructor. Public clinic context, DB context options, clinic context options. This is a constructor for the clinic context class, allowing it to receive configuration options as a parameter. DB context options. Clinic context is a generic parameter that tells entity framework what kind of database options like connection strings and other configurations to expect. Base options. Base options passes the options parameter to the base class constructor, DB context, allowing entity framework core to use these options to configure the context. This enables the clinic context class to inherit configurations such as the database connection. We set now the public DB set patient patients. Get set. DB set patient represents a collection of patient entities that map to a table in the database. Each patient object in this DB set corresponds to a row in the patient's table, the property. Patience allows us to query, add, update, or delete patient records in the database through entity framework. So, DB set patient patients is essentially the link between the patient model class in the code and the patient's table in the database. Same thing here, we will put public DB set, doctor doctors. Get set, public DB set appointment appointments. Get set. Of course, the same explanation for the patients applies to these two properties. Protected override void. On model creating. Model builder. Model builder is used in DB context 
to define the database schema. The model builder parameter allows you to set up rules, relationships, and configurations for tables and columns when the database model is being created. Model builder dot apply configuration new clinic context configuration is used in on model creating to apply custom configuration to the database model. Here is a quick breakdown. Model builder apply configuration tells entity framework to use specific configurations for setting up the database. New clinic context configuration instantiates the clinic context configuration class, which contains custom rules for entity relationships and constraints. Dot on model creating model builders is part of the DB context class and is used to configure the database model. Here is a brief explanation on model creating. This method is called by entity framework when setting up the database schema. Model builder, this parameter, model builder, allows you to define rules, relationships, and custom configurations for your tables and columns. We will stop here in this part of the lecture. Now, how do we do migration and configuration for fields in tables, meaning that table columns need restrictions, right? In the next part of the lecture, we will have a file to make restrictions on table columns and learn more about what is meant by restrictions and their benefit. And we will learn how to do migration so that we can see the tables in the database. We will meet you in the next lecture. Bye.